It is no secret that the most recent Ben 10 video games have not lived up to what us fans of the show have dreamed of. Most of the games don't even include 10 aliens, which that should be the first rule for a Ben 10 video game. We have had some good ones over the years, including Ben 10 Protector of Earth, Alien Force, and Ultimate Alien. I have not played the Omniverse games, so I cannot judge there. The most recent installments by Outright Games have been a huge disappointment. In the first one, there were 10 aliens, so I'll give them that, but did the aliens feel powerful? No, they didn't. Ben 10 Power Trip may have been worse than its successor, though. It seems Outright Games chose to include only 6 aliens in favor of an open world. Let's be honest, for those of us longtime fans, Ben 10 Power Trip was a travesty. I'm not saying it was bad for everyone, and if you enjoyed it, I fully understand, and I am happy that you did. Since the release of Ben 10 Power Trip and finishing my Let's Play, I've come to realize that there needs to be a big change in the development of Ben 10 games. Just so you all are aware, I'm discussing my ideal Ben 10 game, so I do realize some of these ideas aren't very likely. Game-wise, the reboot universe needs to be abandoned, and we need to head back to the classic series, which can include Alien Force and Ultimate Alien as well. I'm not necessarily saying everything about the reboot universe needs to go, but we need our old alien models back. I mean, what were they thinking with Stinkfly and Wildvine? I would love an open world Ben 10 game that actually makes you feel like a hero. Ben 10 Power Trip failed to do that. If we have a company like Insomniac or Sucker Punch working on this, I am all for a decently sized open world game preferably taking place in Bellwood. However, if a smaller or less trusted company were to work on this, I think to start off it should be more linear that way that can put story and gameplay as the main focus. Like I said, I think Insomniac and Sucker Punch would be two really great contenders for an open world Ben 10 game. Not to mention the voice actor behind Teenage Ben, Yuri Lowenthal, is currently voicing Peter Parker in Insomniac Spider-Man. They have experience with making open world games with compelling stories and also including cool superpowers. They also have made the Ratchet and Clank games, which is yet another reason why I would love to see them make a Ben 10 game. Sucker Punch is most known for its infamous games in the recent Ghost of Tsushima. While Ghost of Tsushima wouldn't be too much to draw from for a Ben 10 game, I think Infamous most definitely would be. They made a total of four infamous titles so they definitely have plenty of experience with open world superhero games. They have dealt with electricity, ice, fire, smoke, rock, video, and neon super speed powers. A lot of these could be used as a start for aliens like Buzz Shock and Feedback, Heat Blast, Swamp Fire, Accelerate, Big Chill, and more. I know Sucker Punch could pull this off really well. However, if a Ben 10 game never goes to a big developer, I feel that Cyanide Studios who recently developed Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood, could do a pretty decent job at it. It was not a AAA title with a huge budget in any way. The graphics weren't great and the gameplay was a bit repetitive, although they do a great job at showing the transformations of man to wolf and man to werewolf and vice versa. Not to mention the werewolf gameplay is pretty fun too. I know Cyanide could make a pretty decent Ben 10 game. Graphics wouldn't have to be perfect considering Ben 10 is animated, in Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood, you don't feel all that underpowered. You can take out basic goons easily, which is something recent Ben 10 games haven't let you do. Forearms should only take about one or two punches to knock out a basic enemy, but in most Ben 10 games, his strength isn't represented well in combat. Insomniac, Sucker Punch, and Cyanide are the top three developers I would like to see make a Ben 10 game. I already know the universe I want the game to be in, but we need to discuss the timeline it should take place in. Honestly, if it turned out to be a great game, I would be completely happy with the classic series, Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, heck, even the Ben 10,000 era would be cool. Ultimately, I would love for the game to take place in the Alien Force slash Ultimate Alien timeline as we get a plethora of more aliens in this series. However, as a starting point to a game franchise, it might not be a bad idea to begin with the classic series and then move up. In the ideal Ben 10 game, I would love to be able to play as every alien in the Omnitrix, but that seems to be asking too much. If we could get at least 10, I would really be happy. For instance, if the game took place in the classic series or Alien Force, I would want to start with 10, 
but then build up as we unlock more. If it were to take place in Ultimate Alien, I'd say we should have at least 30 unique aliens all with the Ultimate forms. Obviously, if the game could be executed properly, I would prefer it to take place in the Ultimate Alien time in order to have the most amount of aliens. A few aliens I would love to have in the game are Accelerate, that has next-gen super speed, Forearms, who should be able to leap great distances, Heat Blast, who should be able to fly or glide at least, Humongosaur, Wild Mutt, and Ben Wolf, which Cyanide could definitely do. As playable characters go, Ben would be the main character, of course, but it would also be really cool if we could have some missions as Kevin and Gwen. If it is open world, it would be really cool to see this as something almost like GTA V, with the three playable protagonists, each with their own story arcs. After Ben 10 Power Trip, I think it is safe to say we don't want Hex in another Ben 10 game. I'm sure he could be utilized well in a better game, but I'd rather not have any flashbacks to this game. Some villains I would love to see in a new Ben 10 game would be Dr. Animo, Charmcaster, but not her uncle, Evil Ghost Freak, Mike Morningstar, The Forever Knights, Albedo, most definitely Vilgax, and even Crash and JT. Of course, if the first game was in the original series, then we would need Kevin in the game as a villain. Mission quality most definitely needs to go the opposite direction of Ben 10 Power Trip. The majority of missions in the game don't make you feel like a hero. Helping lumberjacks get back their beards, burning piles of leaves, and collecting mushrooms do not make you feel like the incredible hero Ben Tennyson is. Obviously, if it is linear, it'll be easier to develop a game where all of the missions make you feel like a hero. But I know an open world Ben 10 could have really great main missions and even side missions. Insomniac proved that open world superhero games can have incredible side missions with Spider-Man Miles Morales. So we'll need great boss battles with actual villains and compelling side missions and main missions that make you feel like a hero. I could probably go on about things I would like in a Ben 10 game by a different developer, but seeing as this may not happen, I don't want to turn this into a 30 minute video. If you did enjoy this video, if you would consider leaving a like rating, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to stay up to date on Ben 10 video games and other great games including Hogwarts Legacy and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, make sure to subscribe. As always, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.